your initial thoughts on what's really going on there in Balasore and in terms of the next steps of action since you've been railway minister, next step of action in terms of reaching out to the families of the victims, how, is, how will that process unfold? I think my thoughts and the thought of the country uh, and the Honorable Prime Minister is no different than condolences, standing by the families and reaching out to the victims who are in the hospital and making sure that they get the best of the treatment, which I have no doubt the entire government machinery right from the Prime Minister to the railway minister, to the health minister, to the entire railway system, uh, the, the, the disaster management system, everybody is there. And in, in a record time, they have been able to do whatever was physically possible. Uh, and today is uh, the time just to, to, to be with the family. As far as... Uh, the causes of the accidents is concerned. I think we all need to wait till the report comes. Mm. Uh, but whatever the initial reactions which are coming, uh, it is, I think, a little too early. Mm. Uh, and, and I would not get into any kind of conclusion. All I would say that we need to wait for the report to come. You're right. Uh, it may not be yet the hour to discuss the causes of it, but I will still raise those questions to you. But first, I wanted to raise another important question. Every time there is a rail tragedy, it's in those unreserved compartments, reaching out to those who are traveling in unreserved compartments, reaching their families, finding their contact details. That's a big, big challenge. How will that process play out in the next 24 odd hours? No, I think that uh, the railway system is very robust. And when you book the tickets, uh, all the contact numbers are already there. I think it's a must today. And they would reach out to the, the next of the family. And that process is not easy. Uh, but I, I'm sure the railway system, like I always say, that Indian Railway is one of the best in the world. Right. And uh, there are no parallel, robust, efficient system than Indian Railways, in spite of Whatever has been happening for the last 70 years where railway has been politicized, mm. now for the last, and I'm not talking as a BJP, I'm talking as a person who understands the railway system a little, that now we are getting into a generational change which I had talked about in my budget. Right. So when you say that, sir, when you're talking of generation change, in terms of anti-collision devices, while I don't want to get into the speculating causes of this particular accident, there has been one concern raised about anti-collision devices and the ability of the railways to monitor some of these, tech, given the technological progresses that are around there. How much investment has been made and how much is the lack of an anti-collision device resulting in an accident of this scale? Uh, like I said, and I would like to repeat that, uh, we still don't know. Uh, the only thing is I can only say, since you are asking me this, that this is a very freak accident. How can three trains collide with each other? It's not a highway or anything of that sort, that one car uh, meets an accident and down the line all the cars also meet with that same accident. Only thing I can tell you, whatever the initial reports which are coming, similar accident took place in the year 2010 and I think it was month of May. I don't know which train, I think it was Ganeshwari. And that is where one passenger train was going which got derailed and it was rammed by the goods train and I think 150 uh, <laughs> people died. Hmm. That was a sabotage. I'm sure you remember that and for eight, nine months the trains in the evening did not run on that track and sabotage was conclusion of the inquiry report. This situation somewhat similar and whoever is inquiring the high level committee uh, which has been already ordered, I would say they should not should also look into this angle of sabotage because if this train as per the initial report 
uh, Coromandel was supposed to be on the main line. It has gotten into the loop. How did it go? Because a loco pilot doesn't have a steering like a car that it can negotiate and change the track. Mm. Mm. The track change has to be done remotely. And that electronic locking system, I do not know if somebody has fiddled around with that. Mm. And with purpose. I will not rule out a sabotage because it happened earlier mm. and that only the report can say I will not conclude. Okay, so one way or the other because now the system is very robust. Please understand the system is very robust. Earlier I was crying to get 50,000 crore in my budget and now the Honorable Prime Minister has given 2,50,000 crore to the railways and there is no dearth of resource. And Things are changing. And even if you say, let's say even for a second, that Kavach, the Kavach was not at all, would not come into play. Kavach can only come into play if, if the loco pilot has missed the signal and jumped the signal. Then the, tra the, 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 the Kavach will take over. But in this case, everything happened in a split second. Changing of the track, going into the loop, colliding with the goods train, another train coming, ramming into it. If suppose somebody has done this, if supposing somebody has done this, then that somebody has done with lot of calculation. Lot of calculation somebody has done. And, and, and like the Honorable Prime Minister said, kisi ko bhi baksha nahi jayega. And, and I am absolutely certain, knowing the, the sentiments and, and how sentimental this Prime Minister is, he will have to go into all the details. He is very sensitive to human life, as we all are. Uh, he, no stone will be left unturned to understand what happened and things will change. So we'll have to ensure, even if it is sabotage, that in future this doesn't happen. It's a very important point that you're making. You're not ruling out sabotage at the moment. But then let's just focus on I'm not. the absence of the anti-collision device coverage on this line. Uh, how much time before our entire railway system has the technical upgrades that's required to bring it up to world standards in terms of safety? I'm talking of monitoring systems that are there for the staff there to avert accidents of this nature. If it's not. Please understand, we have, we have one of the largest network in the world. And if we think that everything can be changed overnight, not possible, but I tell you in the last nine years, as somebody who has studied the railway, as a student of the railway, amazing changes have taken place and we are on the track and I would, I would, I would strongly feel that this accident was not because of lack of coverage or any such system where the signals have failed or something else has happened. I Personally, without absolutely being sure, I will rule those things out. Okay. So something strange to my mind has happened. Okay. That is why I keep on saying if 2010 a sabotage has taken place, we cannot conclude, but we cannot rule it out either. 